What happens when you don't wear the belt of truth? What happens when you don't wear the belt of truth? The belt of truth is the whole armor of God. The Bible says, put on the whole armor of God. Hallelujah, that you may fight the wiles of the devil. He goes to God, the arm of God. I'm talking about what happens if you don't wear the belt of truth. What is the belt of truth? The belt of truth protect your loins. The belt of truth protect your sexual organs. The belt of truth help you with your addiction. The belt of truth, glory to God, help you to keep your pants up. It protect you from, glory to God, sexual promiscuity. It protect you from your horniness. I'm talking about the belt of truth. We believe in a helmet of salvation. It protect your brains. It protect your mind. We believe in, in the breastplate of righteousness. It protect your heart. Hey, the Bible says, guard your heart. We believe in the shield of faith. It fire all the, the fiery darts of the enemy. And we believe the sword, which is the word of God. We believe the, the, our feet shuttle preparation of the gospel of peace. But one garment men and women have forgotten to put on, and especially men. Men, we are the way to, the belt of truth. It protect your loins. It protect your sexual organs. What is your sexual organ? We know what it is. Hey, glory to God. Your penis. Hey, glory. This protect you, glory to God, at all costs. Because it, it, it help you. If you are married, you have the belt of truth. It say that you are satisfied with your wife. And if you're not satisfied with your wife, you ought to get tested, hey, glory to God, and go to a, a therapist called a sex therapist. Hey, glory to God. If you don't have the belt of truth on, you become a horny pastor. You become a horny person that's been married. Your wife cannot satisfy you. I'm talking about a belt of truth. The, the belt of truth, it helps you stop the giving your sex to anybody. I'm talking about the belt of truth today. And if you're a person that's struggling with sex, you're a person that is addicted to sex. You need the belt of truth on. The belt of truth is a person that know the truth and the truth will make you free. You are still bound by your enemy, by the enemy of your flesh. Your flesh is running wild with you. Even though Paul say it's better to marry than to burn. You are married, but you're still burning. And the reason why you're burning, because you forgot the belt of truth. The belt of truth help you with your sexual organs. It help you. You think every cookies are different. I did a message, part one and part two, about cookies. And it's time for you, as being a person, to know what a cookie is, a cookie is, your wife cookie is the same as other cookies. And if you are a man or if you are a woman and you are cheating on your spouse, that means that you are addicted to sex. Let's call spade to spade. Come on, can I talk to you? Hey, go, go, to, my, go to my email me and tell me the reason why you're triggered to have sex with another woman even though you're married. What trigger you? You are a wife. You trigger to have sex with another man that's not your spouse because you don't have the belt of truth. Women wear girdles. Men wear belts. So apparently your girdles protect you. You protect your loins because it's, it's, it's at the waist. And if you are not a person, hey, you are spiritual now. You're supposed to be spiritual. God's supposed to heal everything from you. Hey, God can heal everything, but why can't God help you with your sexual hallelujah, promiscuity? Why can't God help you with your sexual organs? Why can't God help you with your organs? You are so spiritual for everything, but you're cheating on your spouse. Listen, what I'm saying to you, I'm not picking on you. Joseph flee out the house because part of her wife was after him. David fell because he took off and went on a rooftop, saw a lady taking a bath, and he slept with her. 
Solomon had 700 wives and 300 concubines. And the Bible says Solomon, glory to God, he died at age 40 because the woman turned his heart away from God. God will give us a way to escape, but sometimes we ignore the escape. We were to stay there and do it. Why stay there and do it and be insulted? Why stay there and do it and your wife is married to you? Why stay there and do it and your husband? But I, hallelujah, I, I got another message coming up. I call why women starve their husband and why, why wives starve their husband and why husbands starve their wives. We are in this thing together. We both to satisfy each other. Another woman should not be able to satisfy you, man. Another man should not be able to satisfy you, woman. But we forgot the belt of truth. Where's your belt? Is your belt around your waist? The belt of truth, it keep you from cheating. The belt of truth keep you from sexual promiscuity. The belt of truth keep you from extra marital affairs. Where's your belt, young man? Preacher, where's your belt? Wives, where's your girdle? It's amazing that how sex should not be named among us by cheating on our spouse. Hey, glory to God, get salvation. I did a message, sex or salvation. A lot of people, they choose sex over salvation. Salvation will save you. Salvation will redeem you. Salvation will help you with your struggle of sexual promiscuity. But we live in a time right now that people are horny. Horny Christians. You are carnal. Anytime Paul say the worst, even Gentile, that a person can sleep with his, with his father wife. Fornication among you. Hey, glory to God. And it breaks my heart. You are a leader and you are screwing everybody in your congregation. Yes, you are a leader and you're screwing every person in your congregation. You're screwing the sheep that say bad. You're screwing them. You ought to be leading them and teaching them and correcting them, but you are screwing them. Hey, glory to God. But where is your belt, man of God? I'm not picking on you, but I'm trying to help you. How do you help? How do you get your belt on? You get your belt on by praying. Get your belt on by fasting. Get your belt on by reading God's word that will lead you and guide you into all truth. And you need the Holy Ghost that will keep you from falling. But we fall down and we get up. We fall down. Now that song, I don't listen to that song because the Bible says, unto him that able to keep you from falling. I know the Bible says righteous man falls seven times and get up, but the Bible say unto him that able to keep you from falling. And the person that wrote that song, he's a struggling homosexual. We fall down. No, we stay up because unto him that able to keep you from falling. And if you got the Holy Ghost, if you got a seed of God, you cannot commit sin. Because God say, be perfect, because I, the Lord thy God, am perfect. Perfect come under maturity. It's time for you to mature over sex. Sex is not all that. Hey, glory to God. You're addicted to something that is a desire. If you marry for sex, my friend, your marriage is not going to last. Because more to marriage than put it in and take it out. Hey, glory to God. And, and you might think that you, na you are nasty. I'm not nasty. I'm speaking the truth. It's time to tell the truth. It's more, it takes more than prayer to deliver you. you got to fast and pray, stay in the word of God, constantly talking to God about your feelings, about your sexual feelings. Stop listening to songs that, that, that arise your erosion. Stop listening to sexual healing. Sexual healing, it should not be R&B. Sexual healing is from the scriptures. You listen to Marvin Gaye. You listen to Prince. You listen to, hallelujah, Chris Brown. And you listen to Rihanna. You listen to all those people that are pagan. They worship sex. Grande, that God is a woman. God is a spirit. Y'all horny. Y'all need to sit down. Get off the pulpit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Go back to your first love. Your first love, when you first got saved, you just think about salvation, not about sex. It's more to life than sex. 
preacher, man of God, missionary, so-called evangelist, and you still horny. Hey, glory to God, but I'm not picking. I'm just telling you what works. Having a belt of truth help you from your sexual organs. Hey, glory to God, but it's time to put the belt on.